When you think about the capital budget and the amount of money that we put into housing, $800 million in the last 10 years into housing in Washington State, and then you think about how many rentals we used to have in Washington State, it almost reminds me of what we did to the health insurance market when we had 23 insurance companies and we put them out of business till we had three because we want people to become more dependent upon government as we move forward. And it strikes me this is the same method that I'm seeing today is that we push more and more private people out of the market by putting more and more regulations on them, scream louder and louder that we need more money for public housing, push more and more of the private people out of the market, scream louder and louder that we need more until there is no more of these small landlords. I sat one day as we were doing a landlord tenant bill and had someone text me and they said to me, why would anyone ever want to be a landlord with the bill that you're passing? Today I received a phone call. We were sitting here deliberating this bill and someone told me there's a person who owns 400 units because of the fact of all the bureaucracy and all the requirements that we are putting on landlords, they're gonna liquidate 300 of those. Mr. Speaker, that's affordable housing for people who don't have down payment to buy a home. And now we're getting, getting away of 300 units of affordable housing because landlords are saying we can't deal with it anymore. Private housing providers are the, are, are the number one provider of housing to tenants in our state, Mr. Speaker. We have some great public housing options, but it's private rental housing that is, that is provided by private property owners, and it's under attack. Most of the landlords that we represent aren't big conglomerates, they're not large businesses, they're small mom and pops who have one, maybe two units that they use to either supplement the, their income or it might be their entire retirement income. So for us to sit there and say, you're gonna have to take less, uh, it's just not fair. I think we need to focus on what the real issue is here, and that is that we have a housing shortage and a homelessness crisis in our state, Mr. Speaker. And we need to provide more incentives to private property owners to provide homes in our state. And we need to reduce costs and we need to reduce risks. And this goes in the other direction. I want to fix the housing problem, Mr. Speaker, and I think all of us here do. But I, I firmly believe that this policy is heading in the opposite direction of a clear and predictable housing market. We've got to get that direction instead of this.